Parker Schnabel, the mine manager and millionaire, has a busy life outside of his prominent presence on Gold Rush. His life is full of a lot of distractions. Schnabel is frequently shown working behind the scenes, actively negotiating additional territory and permits, and managing his personal affairs while he is not appearing on the show. The fact that he is projected to have a net worth of $15 million demonstrates that he has accomplished a great deal of achievement. On the other hand, one can contemplate the question, which business does Parker Schnabel own? In January of 2023, there was a big event that occurred concerning Parker Schnabel, the young and successful proprietor of Little Flake Mining. The news broke about this development. After Metallic Minerals issued a press release announcing their relationship, the company was able to attract the attention of the general public. Little Flake Mining was granted exclusive mining rights to 5.5 miles of alluvial gold claims, located on the Australia Creek property in the Yukon, as a result of this arrangement. In exchange, Metallic Minerals would be entitled to royalty from the gold that was mined, which would guarantee a venture that would be advantageous to both parties. Schnabel's impeccable reputation was highlighted by this collaboration, which exemplified the trust that numerous businesses have in him and his team to discover gold. Our award-winning team is eager to collaborate with Metallic Minerals, and we have ambitious plans for Australia Creek. Schnabel voiced his excitement about the prospect of working together with Metallic Minerals. We want to begin mining operations this spring and are already preparing for a drill program consisting of 400 holes that will take place this winter. The determination that Schnabel possesses has not waned despite the fact that he has been working on Gold Rush for a decade. The cooperation between Little Flake Mining and Metallic Minerals bears the possibility of a rich outcome and Little Flake Mining is currently one of the most successful mining operations in the Yukon. Metallic Minerals has complete ownership of more than 36 square kilometers in the Australia Creek region, which is a historically rich area that is anticipated to contain millions of ounces of gold. It didn't take long for the agreement to take effect, and Schnabel's company was planning to start mining operations in the month of June. Although Schnabel has not published any information regarding their achievements, it is reasonable to assume that they are doing well given their remarkable track record. Schnabel's skill in mining operations and his dedication to ecologically sensitive techniques are both highlighted by the fact that he has collaborated with Metallic Minerals. At the 50th Annual Geoscience Forum and Trade Show, which took place in November 2022, Schnabel was honored with the coveted Robert E. Leckie Award. This occurred months before the announcement of the Metallic Minerals Agreement. The award acknowledged his commitment to the reclamation work that he had done in the Klondike goldfields. It also demonstrated his unwavering dedication to the implementation of environmentally responsible mining techniques for the sake of future generations. During the course of his mining operations, Parker Schnabel permits a significant portion of his work to be videotaped for the Discovery Channel's Gold Rush, which provides viewers with an insight into the complexities of his own career. When you take into consideration the fact that Schnabel has not yet reached the age of 30, this large corpus of work becomes even more astonishing. The prospects for his future accomplishments appear to be limitless, given the fact that his business is growing and that he is also having a successful career in reality television. Parker Schnabel's journey takes a significant turn in the 14th season of the television show Gold Rush. In the beginning of the season, he signs a contract that requires him to make a minimum annual work commitment of $1 million. This is a huge risk that he takes. When one considers the incredible success that Parker Schnabel has achieved since his first appearance on Gold Rush, one would wonder, are you shocked by the things that he has accomplished? Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. 
In the heart of the Alaskan wilderness, where icy winds howl and the landscape is a patchwork of frosty tundra and towering mountains, there exists a young and ambitious gold miner who has captured the hearts of viewers worldwide. Parker Schnabel, a name synonymous with the gold-rich soils of the Klondike, has not only become a star of the hit TV series Gold Rush, but has also established himself as a formidable force in the world of gold mining. The question that often echoes among fans and curious onlookers is, which company does Parker Schnabel own? To understand the intricacies of Parker Schnabel's business empire, one must first delve into the journey of this prodigious young miner. The story begins in the quaint town of Haines, Alaska, where Parker was born into a family with a rich history in gold mining. His grandfather, John Schnabel, was a seasoned miner who instilled in Parker a deep passion for extracting gold from the earth. When John passed away, Parker, then a teenager, inherited the family's mining operation and a significant legacy to uphold. Parker Schnabel's venture into the world of gold mining was not without its challenges. The unforgiving Alaskan terrain, coupled with the pressures of running a mining operation at a young age, tested his mettle. Despite the odds, Parker's determination and strategic mindset propelled him forward. As the cameras of Gold Rush captured his every move, viewers witnessed the transformation of a young man into a seasoned miner and, eventually, a savvy businessman. The company that Parker Schnabel owns and operates is known as Little Flake Mine. This mining operation, established by Parker himself, is a testament to his entrepreneurial spirit and unwavering commitment to the family tradition of gold mining. Little Flake Mine, located in the Klondike region of the Yukon, is not just a business for Parker. It's a legacy that he continues to build upon with each passing season. The name Little Flake Mine carries a significance that goes beyond its literal meaning. It represents the humble beginnings of Parker Schnabel's journey in the world of gold mining. While the gold flakes extracted from the earth may be small in size, the impact of Parker's mining operation is anything but insignificant. The company has grown in scale and efficiency under Parker's leadership, evolving from a modest operation to a well-oiled machine that rivals some of the more established mining ventures in the region. One of the key factors that sets Little Flake Mine apart is Parker Schnabel's innovative approach to gold mining. Unlike traditional methods that rely heavily on manual labor and brute force, Parker has embraced technology to enhance efficiency and maximize yields. State-of-the-art equipment, cutting-edge machinery, and a keen understanding of the geological landscape are the cornerstones of Parker's success. In the unpredictable world of gold mining, where every ounce counts, the strategic use of technology has become a defining feature of Little Flake Mine. As the owner of Little Flake Mine, Parker Schnabel oversees every aspect of the operation, from planning and logistics to the meticulous process of gold extraction. The journey of the raw material, from the excavation site to the final refinement in the wash plant, is orchestrated with precision under Parker's watchful eye. It's a complex dance of man and machine, where the pursuit of gold is both a science and an art. Beyond the nuts and bolts of the mining operation, Parker Schnabel's company is also a beacon of employment in the local community. The bustling activity at Little Flake Mine creates jobs for skilled miners, mechanics, and support staff, injecting vitality into the remote regions of Alaska. The economic impact of Parker's venture extends beyond the boundaries of his mining claims, contributing to the sustainability and growth of the communities that depend on the success of the mining industry. What sets Parker Schnabel apart as a business owner is not just his ability to extract gold from the ground, but also his commitment to environmental stewardship. The Klondike region, with its fragile ecosystems and pristine landscapes, is a treasure that Parker aims to preserve. Sustainable mining practices, land reclamation initiatives, and a deep respect for the environment are integral components of the ethos of Little Flake Mine. 
as the sun dips below the snow-capped peaks of the Alaskan wilderness, casting long shadows over the mining operation, Parker Schnabel can often be found reflecting on the journey that brought him to this point. The company he owns is not just a means to an end, it's a testament to the tenacity of a young man who dared to dream big in the harsh realm of gold mining. The story of Parker Schnabel and Little Flake Mine continues to unfold with each passing season of Gold Rush. The trials and triumphs, the setbacks and successes, all are woven into the fabric of Parker's legacy. As fans around the world tune in to witness the drama of gold mining in the Klondike, they are also witnessing the evolution of a young entrepreneur who has transformed a family tradition into a thriving business. In the end, the company that Parker Schnabel owns is more than a name on a mining claim or a logo on a piece of equipment. It's a symbol of resilience, innovation, and a deep-rooted connection to the land. Little Flake Mine is not just a business venture. It's a continuation of a legacy that began with a dream and continues to glitter with the promise of gold, echoing through the icy valleys of the Alaskan wilderness.